Okay, so don't mind my voice for this video since I just came off of being sick. Um, but yeah, I don't know, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Anyways, so you all saw the title, I Maxed Yog Armor. Some people may be hearing this and think to themselves, yep, I knew it all along. Yog Armor has the most mining speed in the game if you max its kills. I can't wait to comment about this. Well, those people are wrong. Yog Armor, when completely maxed, gives around 40 mining speed less than Devon Armor. This is because Yog Armor has a lower rarity than Devon Armor, thus making the Jaded Reforge and the Gemstones in the Yog Armor less effective. So why max it at all? Well, there's this mining method that gives a ton of mining experience called Magma Fields Mithril. I made a video about it before, and if you haven't seen it, I'd highly recommend watching it before this video, or it won't make much sense. The main staple of this method is instantly mining the green mithril blocks on mining speed boost, which takes 48,000 mining speed. You can barely reach this with a maxed setup, so it's pretty much the end game of mining methods. However, since Yog Armor loses only about 40 speed compared to Devon Armor, you can still instantly mine the mithril if you take advantage of an amber power scroll before using your ability. You may ask then, what happens when the power scroll runs out? Well, since Mining Speed Boost takes your mining speed at the time of activation, when the Amber Power Scroll runs out, it'll only take away 30 mining speed, instead of 138. This means that you can just barely still instantly mine at 48,007 mining speed. Before I explain why Yogg Armor is better than Devon for Magma Field's Mithril, I'm going to draw attention to a terrible problem. My Discord is currently 3,000 members higher than my subscriber count. This is absolutely ridiculous, and I request that it be fixed immediately. Thank you for your time. So, what is the advantage of Yog Armor? Which, by the way, only costs about 200 million coins to max, compared to Devon's around 500 million. Devon still gives a ton more fortune, thus making it better for coal weight from Mithril Collection. Well, when you're equipping your silverfish for this method, eventually your heat will build up enough so that you have to drink water bottles to not die of heat. Yog Armor has a cool ability that makes you immune to heat, so basically using Yog Armor is sacrificing a ton of mining fortune just to not have to drink water. This is truly a skyblock moment. It legit only gives you 2.2% more mining experience per hour because of not taking downtime to get and drink water bottles, but at the cost of a good amount of coal weight and mithril collection. It's still technically meta though, so I had to have it. Anyways, the reason that Yogg comes so close to Devon in mining speed is because of its ability, which requires you to kill 5,000 Yoggs for a bonus of 500 mining speed in the full set. So all you have to do to get this is spend a bunch of hours killing Yoggs. At least you get bestiary for it. Alright, so now I'm going to go over how to hyper-optimize Yogg killing. Something I never thought I would say. You'll want to be killing Yogs in Bal, unless you find a magma field structure that generates a lot of them. I think you can also dig out a large area in the magma fields, but I'm not entirely sure on this one since I didn't test it because it, well, takes a lot of bombs and a lot of time. So a lot of people probably think that Yogg spawning in Bal is random, and you just walk around killing the ones you see. This is actually very wrong. What I've noticed in the Crystal Hollows is that almost none of the spawns are random. There are spawn locations for Devon treasures, every mob and every structure, all of the natural veins generate the same, etc. Anyways, there are set places that Yogs will keep spawning in. So what I did is I had Ninjun, the developer of this wonderful mining mod, slash CT import coal weight if you have chat triggers, add a feature that would waypoint every Yogg spawning place. All you have to do is stand on the edge of this topaz crystal, and run a command, and then waypoints specific to your lobby will show up detailing every spawn location. Then, you build three block tall pillars at every spawn location, so you can quickly eat the work between them, saving a lot of time from running. To actually kill the Yogs, I use the Spirit Scepter because of the fact that it has really good explosion range, which makes it so that you don't have to aim, you can just look down, and it doesn't make you teleport or anything. Take note that Yogs will not spawn every single time you go to a spawn location, they take a while. You do have to be near the spawn location for them to spawn though, so you will want to keep ether warping. So, with all this optimizing, and even without it, the Ballerina isn't even close to infinite. 
So you have a good bit of downtime to really do whatever in between spawn cycles. So if you're chatting in Discord or browsing YouTube, I'd recommend saving that until after the cycle is done, so it doesn't impact your kills per hour nearly as much. As for how many kills per hour you can expect, it's about 500. Well, I think that about wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching until the end, and good luck killing Yogs if you for some reason want to do this too.